Welcome back. Every Thursday right here on News 9 at 9 a.m., we are going in-depth with the Oklahoma City Police Chief Wade Gourley. Halloween next Tuesday, children will be walking the streets trying to get a bag of candy. And this week, we chat with the chief about ways families can stay safe while trick-or-treating. Here's Lisa Monahan. Oklahoma City Police Chief Wade Gourley in studio with us this morning. And this week we are talking about Halloween. It's just around the corner. Always a great time for the kiddos. A lot of families will head out on Tuesday to trick or treat. The first big question would be what are some tips you would give to parents to make sure everyone stays safe on Halloween? The biggest thing is, you know, staying together in a group, um, keeping, you know, everybody corralled, so to speak, so that they're not running out ahead, running out in front of traffic. And that's the thing, the, the little ones, they get so excited. You know, they want to run from house to house and, you know, they're just oftentimes not paying attention and they're going to run out in the street and other things like that. And when you get in these neighborhoods, it's not really, you know, organized in how you cross the street and how you do those things. So, you know, number one, the people in the cars have to slow down and have to be aware that those kids are going to be out there. But number two, I think just keeping everybody, um, you know, making sure they're watched, they stay on the sidewalk as much as they can and just, you know, uh, keeping them from running out in front of the traffic and getting in the street. Kiddos, I know, love those glow sticks. Mine certainly loves the glow sticks. Something like that, is that truly helpful to put on your child with their costume as they're heading out just so cars can see them? Or Absolutely, and, and the, the costumes themselves sometimes prevent the kids from being able to see real good anyway. And so, yeah, glow sticks, flashlights, uh, that's a very good point. Anything like that to uh, uh, just draw that attention. And the costumes a lot of times are dark in color. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it starts to get dark a little bit earlier this time of year. So by the time people get out and going around, so definitely anything that they could put on, if there's a reflective light that you could, you know, strap onto their costume somewhere that flashes, just something so those vehicles will have something that they can see a little bit better. Very good. Okay, now the older kiddos, we want them to get in on the fun as well. Um, if parents are maybe sending their kids out by themselves for the first time in the neighborhood to do trick-or-treating, what advice would you give to parents to tell their children before they head out? I, I would just tell them, you know, those things, you know, about being careful, not running out into the street, staying on the sidewalk. Sometimes the older kids take the little kids too. And just having those discussions ahead of time and, and just making it clear that, you know, vehicles are gonna be less likely to see you. So it's your responsibility to really look before you step out into the street um, and, and just pay attention for that vehicle traffic. And that's the thing too, is a lot of people forget is it's not just the foot traffic, but a lot of people drive into these neighborhoods. So the, the traffic in the neighborhood tends to increase as well. Um, so, because people oftentimes take their kids to other areas of, of, uh, of the community or neighborhoods where they have friends and family and things so that the vehicle traffic tends to pick up as well. So it's not like the normal traffic in your neighborhood. And I think having those discussions with the kids as well, just getting them prepared uh, to be looking out a little bit more for that extra traffic is helpful. Of course, there are hundreds of neighborhoods that participate each and every year, passing out the candy to the kiddos. Will you guys be trying to do increased patrol in the neighborhoods? Certainly, you wouldn't be able to get to all of them. But what will you guys be looking for and doing on that night specific? The main thing is just making sure people are slowing down. Uh, we want to make sure kids are safe, too. And, it's, and, you know, traffic is kind of the thing that we focus on the most. That seems to be... Uh, what if, if there's an injury that's usually what it is it's related to an accident but also to making sure that you know um, that kids aren't going into people's homes where things could happen there or uh, making sure that parents have information about checking over the candy before it's eaten uh, and just things like that then unfortunately we live in that society where we have to talk about that but for us the main thing is um, the traffic and and making sure that People are not speeding and, and of course alcohol sometimes gets involved on Halloween too with the, the, uh, the older folks and so we want to make sure that, that those that are want to go out and have a good time aren't getting behind the wheel and driving. So we're going to be out uh, enforcing all the traffic laws and just keeping everybody safe. That's great. We want everyone to have a good time. And before we go, every year we talk about this, um, the little bitty policemen and women that come knocking at your door. <laughs> did you see a lot last year? I did. I did. Right. And I love it. It's always my favorite. Uh, um, we. Uh, my, my neighborhood just gets inundated. We, we get a lot of people, and it's always fun. I love looking at the costumes, and it's just a great time of year. Hopefully you'll see a bunch this year, too. They'll grow into be little uh, police officers someday. We, we need them. We're, it's recruiting, <laughs> it. so there you go. All right. Thanks so much for being with us, Chief. If you have a question for the Chief, we take those at chatwiththechief at griffin.news, and we'll get you some answers. See you next week.